Hello, everyone. I just want to encourage you today, as you might be praying and fasting and seeking the Lord here at the beginning of the year, right now what God is doing in the atmosphere is He is sifting, He is stretching, but He is strengthening as well. And so if you felt a little bit uncomfortable, as though your circumstances are getting very difficult, as though your emotional states are fluctuating a lot, um, you may have a lot of frustration, disappointment, um, loss, um, wondering where God is and what's happening right now while you're in the middle of your fast and you're praying, it's because God is stretching you. He's taking you to some uncomfortable places. So I just want to encourage you that there's some right questions you need to ask him. Lord, since I know that things are going to be opening up in February for me, you need to say that to him because they are. Greater things are coming in February. This is a time of consecration. Ask him what he is trying to teach you in the midst of what you're going through. Because if there's a sifting that's going on, if there's a, if there's a, a um, stretching that's going on, it's because God intends to strengthen you. You need to walk in a greater anointing for what's coming up in February. And so this is a great way for you to begin to say, Lord, fill me up. Teach me what I need to know so that when I am ready to go out in February for this next thing that you have for me, Father, I will be carrying a greater anointing with me. You never carry a greater anointing unless you've been stretched beyond where you're currently at. I know from Luke chapter 22, verses 31 through 33, we see Jesus and Simon Peter having a dialogue. And Jesus um, told him, he said, listen, um, Satan has, has asked permission to sift you as wheat. And he says, I'm praying for you that your faith would not fail you but that you would uh, turn back and then you would go and strengthen your brothers. And so um, make sure that you seek God during this time and begin to ask those questions of him. Even if you're discouraged and you're confused by what's taking place, you're being stretched so that you can walk in a greater strength and be able to help other people walk in that greater strength in February. So I just, I just want to encourage you today, um, no matter what it looks like, no matter how difficult, because the enemy's been rampant for about the last 24 hours or so, so if you've been feeling a lot of difficulty, it's okay. God is strengthening you, and you're going to walk in a greater anointing. And so just remember that. Give him praise. Give him glory during this time. It's going to be over soon enough. But the fruit is going to be that you walk in that greater anointing.